Shut up and sit down. Hi guys, welcome again to the second episode of Pints and Politics. I'm joined by Laura D'Angelo, uh, who's been kind enough to uh, help me out a second time. Uh, but I think we have a we have a really great topic today, and and that is, is it is it really worth it to care about politics? Like, is it, you know, is it necessary? Uh, so, anyways, we're gonna dive into it. Uh, but first, I think we need to get our, our our beer from Laurent. So, Laurent, come on in. What do you have for us as the first beer? Well, we have an ESB, which is better known as an English Special Bitter. Uh, it is fresh in bottle as of today. I did it this morning just in advance of this because I'm a nice guy. <laughs> uh, this beer, actually, the inspiration behind it, which is quite interesting, uh, I just visited the East Coast recently, and there was a beer that I got. Thank you, and sir. And then packed it in my luggage and then brought it back and then proceeded to get uh, a little... Uh, clumsy while uh, drinking it and then as such I came inside and decided to brew it and so that's what you're trying right now so Fantastic. please yeah. enjoy cheers cheers <laughs> cheers there we go that's pretty nice yeah I really like that so I drink ESB but mostly at the Royal Oak in Ottawa just because they have, they have their like the old style pump um, they do yeah for their taps which is, uh, maybe it's gimmick here or not, but um, it's a beer that I actually really enjoy. Um, but it's, I think that's the cool part. I mean, that's kind of the best part about being here at Laurent's is that, you know, this is a this is a completely unique beer. It is completely unique. I, I don't normally drink a lot of amber beer, but mm -hmm. this one I really like. Like, it's not hoppy. It's really easy to drink. It's got the sweetness at the end. Mm -hmm. No, it's great. So uh, the first time I ever tried a beer from Laurent was uh, a couple years ago now. And uh, he brought it in and, and had it all bottled and everything. And it tasted great, but the carbonation was off. Uh, so Laurent, well, no, 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 but it was, it actually was, we had this great conversation. Laurent's just off, off camera here. We had this great conversation about the beer and, you know, how, you know, how he could change it and all that sort of stuff just to tweak it and that sort of thing. So it's very cool to see the process. And now he's invested in, uh, what is it, what's the name of the, the piece of equipment that you use? Well, it's just a carbonation tank. Just a, just a straight carbonation tank, before, whereas before it was, uh, you know, it was a little bit, a little bit different. It wasn't as kind of... Scientific. <laughs> scientific. Uh, so, anyways, it's really cool to see the beer kind of come to this point, and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what uh, what, what he has uh, after this. So I also love his reusable tasting glasses. Yeah, these are great. His mason jars. It's awesome. This is a little bit different than the cans we had last time, a but, you know... A little bit classier than the cans we had last growing, time. <laughs> we're growing, and we're, and we're doing different things. Uh, just, I'm going to remind you guys, so Laura is... Uh, what, what is your title at Wazuku? I am a consultant in government relations and public affairs at Wazuku Advisory Group based in Ottawa. Great. So uh, let's let's get get right into it. Uh, so is it is it worth it to care about politics? I mean, I think in Canada right now, and, and you know, globally, obviously, there's a lot of stuff going on. We kind of touched on a bit of that in in the last episode, um, but I think you know, for for our, I don't think it's necessarily restricted to our age or anything like that. But what do you think? Like, is it for the average person? Is it worth it to care about politics? I mean, I think the the really short answer is yes. It is absolutely worth it, and I would argue essential to care about politics. Um, but overall, I mean, I think it's such a great question, right? Mm -hmm. Is it worth it to care about something that is really tough in a lot of times to relate to your own life? if it's not something that directly affects you, right? If yep. you're not talking about something really specific, like senior healthcare and you're a senior citizen, or you have yep. a senior citizen in your life that you're taking care of, or childcare, or child benefit, you know, it's sometimes tough to say, well, how do, you know, how does procurement of ships affect my life and should yeah. I really care about yeah. that? Um, and I think that that's almost the more interesting question is yeah. how do you take the governing of a country yep. and care about that when really the micro aspects are kind of few and far between some days. Absolutely. I mean, it, it's, it is that kind of that narrow a view I think that people have about politics. I mean, you know, if it, it's like any, any kind of challenge you're trying to deal with. If, if somebody just kind of dumps it on your plate, and I know that the question itself is a very difficult one. Yeah. Do you care about politics? Well, politics is such a dynamic thing. I mean, I mean, that, this is kind of part of why I wanted to do the whole pints of politics idea is because, you know, like I care about politics, but I care about, you know, very specific things within politics. 
um, you know, do I do I care about necessarily you know procur- procurement process for shipbuilding? Well, maybe not right now. I mean, down the road, and maybe it comes sure. into my life that it's important. Um, but I think that's that's the thing, right? Is you you have to care about the the specifics like the specific tangible kind of effect that it has on your life. Um, and I guess, you know, for me, when I think about it, I think about, you know, some of the folks that, you know, went to high school with and, and you know, they're, and, you know, all the people that have kind of met along the way, you know, maybe politics doesn't transect in their life in the same way that it does for a lot of people. You know, maybe they, maybe they only get, you know, maybe they only get pissed off if, if their electrical bill goes up or, you know, if they're, you know, they're happy if they get an increased child benefit. I mean, maybe those are the only times they really need to care about. It. I mean, is that but, fair? But maybe that's, maybe that's the point, right? Yeah. Is if you're going to get pissed off or excited about something that could be impacted yeah. by politics or by government, then yeah, you, you should be caring, yeah. right? If you're going to get angry about your hydro bill going up, if yeah. you are going to be super jazzed because you are getting more money in your Canada Child Benefit, yeah. if you you know are going to get really angry when you see you know a bill come down, you hear about it, you don't fully understand it, but you think this is important and you're angry yeah. that they are making those decisions in the house for you, mm-hmm. then yes, you should be caring. And, yeah. and caring can mean different things. Yeah. And, and I think that's what's really important, right? Caring could mean reading the newspaper on a daily basis. Yeah. And ideally, we've talked about this before, ideally yeah. not just the echo chamber news that you get, yeah. but truly, you know, engaging with what's happening. That is the role of journalism and the role of media is to show us what's happening in the yeah. world and let us make educated decisions. Yeah, for sure. Um, so that it could be that. Sure, maybe it's to the extent that you and I have gone, which is working with political parties, working on the Hill, working in the political sphere. Yeah. But it doesn't have to be that. It could just be reading and forming an opinion and voting, right? Like yeah. that is, we can't get away from that key is part of caring about politics is engaging in the democratic process. Absolutely. I, you know, I think, um, and, and you know, maybe we'll, in our, in our next segment, we'll jump a little bit deeper into, you know, political activism and all that sort of yeah. stuff. Um, but I think that's, that's kind of the big turning point, right? I mean, you know, I was always kind of passionate about politics. Um, and it, and it, it kind of took my dad saying to me, Hey, do you want to come out and knock on some doors to get involved in it? Um, but for the average person, I mean, you're going to work, you're coming home, you know, you got barely, you barely have enough time to kind of take care of yourself. Like why, you know, why do I need to really care about this? But it is, you're, you're right. It's, it's that specific impact on your life. Uh, and maybe that's what it takes for each individual person to really get passionate about, it, even if it's just one aspect of politics, exactly. uh, maybe that's what it is. And so I, I guess, you know, when I reflect on it, you know, I, I actually have a really good friend of mine that, you know, was not, couldn't have cared less about politics, um, even up through university and then got out of it and got a job and started to realize, you know, all right, this tax thing is kind of, it's kind of funky. I'd like to understand it a bit more. And then, you know, he, he dove, he dove deeper into it, of course, but you know, I don't think that's necessary for everybody. I really don't. And, uh, so, I mean, I guess that's, that's kind of, that's kind of where we'll jump into the next section is that. You know, how do you, how is it best for you to engage? Once you do decide that you care about politics, because I think we've kind of determined that, you know, you should care about politics, but how do you care about it? How yeah. do you show? And, and maybe you need to flip, you know, I, I think sometimes I talk to people who don't care about politics, or they do, but they don't want to because it has such a negative connotation, right? Absolutely. They hear politics and they hear games, competition. Yeah. They hear, you know, undercutting each other and yelling in the house and they, they don't, they're, unable to separate yeah. that hyper-partisan competitive game yeah. from the governing of a country or yeah. from the way that it impacts their life and love or hate the way politics has manifested itself yeah. really worldwide, it plays a really important role in your day-to-day life, Absolutely whether or nice. not you would like to think about that. And so, you know, thinking about how you engage with it is important and thinking about how, which is the next segment, mm-hmm. and thinking about how you're able to frame it in your mind mm-hmm. so that you can engage with it in a way that feels right to you is important. Yeah, the, the comfort level is huge. I mean, you know, we, we consume so much information and we consume so many issues uh, that I think being able to find a comfort level in, in how you interact with politics yeah. is, is probably the most important. Um, so that's... Yeah, I think I think that's. I, I mean, I agree. Uh, <laughs> which is always which is always fun. Um, but uh, I think what I'm gonna what we'll try to do during the next portion is try to take off kind of our our political hats in a, in, in in a way um, and kind of maybe we'll discuss a little bit away from the organized politics and talk about maybe a little bit of the grassroots and that sort of stuff. And I think uh, that'll help us kind of get through get through the issue a little bit more deeply. So. 
Great. Great. All right. Now, on to the next beer. Thanks, guys. <laughs>